Hello planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone, it's Annie here. Welcome back to another planner video. I'm excited, we're just booking along through our A to Z list of ideas of things to put in your planner. Now this is the copy that I hand wrote when I originally saw the pin on Pinterest from the Polka Dot Posey. Now I've linked um, a link to her website, blog I guess I should say, every video in the description bar. But to be honest, I don't know where this original list is on her site. I haven't been able to find it. Other people haven't been able to find it. I thought I had pinned it on my planner love board on Pinterest, which is also linked down below in the description box. And perhaps she took it off of her site. Um, the important thing is that I have it written down. I've tweaked it just a little bit to um, add a few things and take a few things off. And I have in fact given her credit for originally coming up with this list. So that is unfortunately the best that I can do. But watch the series and you're able to write down your own list similar to this of every item to reference at a later date. And I thought I was going to get through this planner video and uh oh, there's the baby. So let me go check on him and we'll get started. We're on the letter G, which is the beginning of this video, part five. Okay, I'm back. The baby, I think, is settled. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, or maybe this is your first video you found on my channel. Real quick, let me say hello. My name is Annie. I'm a wife and mother on social media like Instagram, um, Snapchat, Periscope, and I have four young children. My oldest is six, then a four-year-old, a 19-month-old, I think she is, and I just had a baby. He's two months old now, and he's beside me and will hopefully allow me to get through the letter G and even possibly the letter H in this video. Okay, the very first thing on our list of ideas of things to put in our planner is goals. And actually way back here in my lists section, I labeled these tabs myself. This is just half of a small Avery label that's removable. And it's actually so removable, they're curling and coming off of my tabs. Um, my dividers are from It's Time to Plan on Etsy, and I absolutely love her stuff. But that's how I get these labels, and I just need to redo them. But here is my miscellaneous lists section. You've seen many of these in other videos or on Instagram or something. And I don't need to have these in any particular order. I just flip to the page that I need. And here is where I have my 2016 goals. Now, um, I do kind of follow a yearly calendar, so to speak. And when the new year comes around, is a great time to reflect and just figure out what I did achieve in the past year and what I would like to achieve in the future year. And I like to make goals. You can see I have healthier eating, run a marathon and read my Bible completely in a year um, on this page. Um, when I make a goal, I usually start with like a list page like this because you have to kind of brainstorm. You have to start somewhere. And I usually like to think through um, different goals such as these. And then I really break them down in different ways throughout my planner. So one thing that I will do after I've kind of written them down and brainstormed Usually the page before this kind of prettier one is more um, like, it looks more like this. That is a brain dump section. And it's just very scribbly. It's in my worst handwriting that hopefully only I can read. I'm just trying to get some ideas and thoughts down. And then I take my goals from here and I write them kind of in a nice list format. And then um, a lot of times I will make sub points. So you can see that um, for me to eat healthier, some things I've thought about are I want to stop having creamer in my coffee, you know, the extra sugar and calories. I want to try to cut out many grains and have little to no grains. Um, obviously no pop or no soda, depending on where you live in the country. Rarely do I want to have dessert and I want to also limit dairy. Like I don't need cheese on every sandwich I eat, that kind of thing. So the point of breaking these down is to make my goal attainable. If I just kind of throw out healthier eating, like that doesn't help me make better decisions with every 
every meal I make or every time I go into a restaurant. Or maybe one of my goals is that I don't go to a restaurant and instead I eat at home and cook at home. So I have to break down all of my goals into little pieces to actually have obtainable, achievable steps. And some of these may just kind of stay in list format here and I refer to them and they remind me of the things I would like to do. Um, it's also handy to have maybe a tracking um, insert of some kind where you can check things off for the day. I know a lot of shops will have a little sticker tracker like this one. This is the day is that this week I have been able to um, make progress in my Bible reading and even though I've opened my Bible a few times it is Thursday and um, yesterday was the first day I guess I can mark that now I'm behind um, I can mark that I did get some of my Bible reading done so you can use a, a check you know a habit type tracker like this um, you could plug um, your meals in on individual days individual weeks so that way you're staying on top of a prescribed meal plan and you're not scurrying around at the last minute and making unhealthy choices. Um, you can have places on your inserts where you track information as well as plan ahead. So like the meals, you're kind of planning ahead to make sure I have the right things to eat. But the Bible thing, um, I'm kind of just checking as I go. So I hope that makes sense, that there's different ways from um, the list like in the back that I was showing you all the way to in your calendar, ways you can track things. I already promised if you saw um, part four where I talk about exercise that I'm going to do an entire video on exercising and how to market and all your fitness and food log and things like that in your planner at a different time. But to kind of tie into my goal to run a marathon, oh hey buddy. Hey. to run a marathon um, in September and I want to try to get under a 10 or 11 minute mile um, which is really fast for me like that would be really fast for me it's not actually all that fast necessarily it just depends on who you are and where you are in your training um, but that's a goal I've set for myself that is fairly reasonable since I've I've run marathons before but anyways my point is um, when it comes time to really start training, um, you know, if my, let me turn to September. If my race is in September, I'll be able to backtrack on my monthly calendar whenever, you know, we'll just say this is the race and I'll know that by the 9th, I will want to have achieved the full mileage and the timing and I can backtrack and I could even set up my, my training schedule on these monthly inserts. Or I could choose to do them on my weeklies. Um, I could have a mixture of both. And I've even seen people, especially if you're very committed to exercising and it happens fairly regularly or you want it to, you could have a separate set of inserts just like this in order to plot out all of your exercises throughout the week. Whether you're training for a marathon or whether you're just getting in 30 minutes of exercise of some kind several times a week. So um, goals easy to list them, easy to plug them into various places in your calendar. And by the way, this is my new pen gems. Um, thank you guys who let me know. Um, I received this as actually a gift and a prize in an Instagram giveaway I won. And it came with the ballpoint pen, you know, like refill. And I wanted to love the pen, but I preferred gel ink. And this has the small like 0.4 tip of the gel ink and I can link the specifics down below and if you want I think it's 10% off of your first pen gems order you can follow the link in the description box and then you can get your own pen gems because I find I'm like in love with this pen now it fits in any pen loop um, you can get really any kind of gel or um, they call it a hybrid or a ballpoint you can get blue you can get black ink and some of the inks allow you to have different colors. So I apologize, I got on a tangent, but I'm just so excited to have finally found a pen that I really like and that will fit in the pen loop and is simple and has everything that I want. So that is the goals, the letter G and goals. Uh, oh, buddy, buddy. Oh, just a minute, guys. Oh, 
okay, sorry about that. <laughs> it's important to film um, in the afternoon when my toddler goes down for her nap. Otherwise, I would not be able to film ever. And my baby, my newborn, is not always napping or occupied at that time. So it's kind of like the lesser of two evils. Okay, moving on to the next G is gratitude. And when I talked about faith and how to document different things in your planner in my previous video, which would have been part four under the letter F, then I kind of touched on how a lot of people will fill in any blank space in their weekly planner. You know, like Monday is already over and I could have filled in the blank space and written down some things that I'm grateful for. Um, if you don't have room in your planner, then you could always do it in your monthly section. Again, um, you could devote an entire set of monthly inserts and, and only have small little boxes like this to fill, which would help with the whole blank page fear and what do I write and that way you're not being overwhelmed. You could write just a couple of keywords like, you know, kids and um, sunshine or you could actually try to fit a, you know, a little sentence in here. You know, I'm thankful we have to play outside at the park all day. Um, and then, of course, you can have it as small or as large as you want. So you can plug it into your existing monthlies, into your existing weeklies. You could have a section um, with more like note pages like this. And you could have um, a different line for each different day. These are all so much crafting inserts. And I know she sells... Um, a month on two pages and it looks like this or a month on one page maybe I'm not exactly sure of the format but it's the month written at the top and it's lines and instead of dots it's dates and anyways the point is is you're able to kind of future plan and plug things in but it's also perfect for one little sentence for each day of maybe something you are grateful for so tons and tons of options out there really the sky is the limit okay after gratitude is gift ideas and for that I need to go back to my lists page. Um, I've talked about under Christmas that for each of my family members here is my husband, my six-year-old, my four-year-old, my 19-month-old uh, and my baby that I like to keep um, a log of things that are interesting to them and uh, gift ideas and things like that so that's one way for your immediate family but another way I was thinking about this um, having like a gift list. Let's see, where is it? Is it behind here? Um, I want to get better about having a card for people on their birthdays, or sometimes you get invited last minute maybe. Well, not last minute. That's not a prerequisite. But you get invited to a birthday party or something, and you want to just give somebody a small token. Or you're going to see them at church um, near their birthday. And so you want to just have a small gift. And... I find that um, at certain times you can get tons of really nice items on clearance at some of your favorite stores like candles or lotions or soaps, um, scarves, and those can be like the summer decorative scarves or as well as the winter scarves if you live in the north like I do. Um, I thought for kids, you know, art type supplies, arts and crafts, games and puzzles are little things. Um, for guys, t-shirts, um, even beef jerky. And I just, I created this list and I'd like to start putting together almost like a closet or a bin somewhere where I can have a lot of these items and um, maybe keep, you know, five to six gifts on hand, a little assortment. And then I always have one. And I mean, believe it or not, it really is hard for a stay at home mom with kids to run an errand. Like I've had a library book on hold for the past three days and I seriously, there's no real good time in my day to either pack up my kids and run an errand like that. It would take a normal person maybe 10 minutes to drive there, pick it up and leave. It would take me more than 10 minutes just to get everybody's shoes on, go to the bathroom, into their car seats before I could back out of the driveway. You know what I mean? So um, having gifts like this is a huge time saver for me. And maybe you don't have kids, but maybe you're super busy, you know, going from work, Maybe you're picking your kids up from school, um, or maybe you're just meeting your husband at home and you guys are busy all the time. This could really help be a time saver. And then you're never caught um, on your way to an event like this, having to stop and grab something and hope you can find something in 15 minutes because you're getting it on the way, which may or may not have ever happened to me. <laughs> I just gave myself away. 
So gift list, and this is a gift list of ideas, and then I plan on being able to check next to these things if I have them in my like closet, um, so that way I know what I have, and maybe even putting another set of check boxes over here for when I've given it away. Hey, buddy. Okay, next on my list is grocery. Oh, buddy, are you not gonna cooperate? He's sitting on my lap now, I thought that would appease him. All right, let's see here. Um, I do not have menu planning piece right now. I have tried tons of different systems within my planner and I can function, but I don't have like amazing piece, uh, so, to use the lingo, um, with my menu planning. I always do it. I don't ever wing it because that's, I, I truly don't understand how you can, can do that. Um, I go regularly every two weeks, but um, I've since taken stuff out of my planner and I'm working on a new system. And as soon as I decide, buddy, buddy, as soon as I decide if that is going to work for us, and for me, then I am going to definitely give you guys the details because I'm just, I just, I can never find a system that works for me for more than six months. So um, I'm going to defer grocery. However, I do want to make a couple comments. I have a notes section. I'm sorry, this is actually in my tasks section. Um, in the front half, I have my um, feed the baby logs and then back here um, with my ruler I have a to-do list that runs onto the next page and then I also have a to buy list and this is um, maybe doesn't fit groceries so much as as it would be miscellaneous things like oh we're out of toilet paper or oh we're out of toothpaste or like right now I need laundry detergent which is not on this list yet and the other thing I noticed last night were dishwasher tablet thingies. So I would add these to this list and I reference this list for anything that I can add to our grocery list and not go over budget. So um, I can kind of just refer to this and things like the um, blinds for our master bedroom. You know what, until I have the money, I'm not going to invest in that, but I just keep looking on here and I know that's something we wanna put some money into and as soon as we can, we will. So that kind of fits. And um, every once in a while, you know, you just, you run out of peanut butter mid grocery cycle and maybe milk and I don't know, like coffee. So I have a short list of like three items and they'll usually go on a post-it note like this. And I will stick it to the front. Come on, buddy, come on. There we go. And I will actually take my planner into the store because it's also my wallet. And I will use this list um, that I've used a post-it for on the front and go ahead and get just those few items that we can't live without until um, the next time I go grocery shopping, which does happen every once in a while, no matter how well I plan. So that is grocery. And that sums up the G's. Um, we're at 18 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can really quickly do the H's. And the first one is health. Um, this will be part of the fitness exercise video on its own, but I know health also refers to things like medical concerns. And um, the one example I can show you out of my own planner is this um, here. These are my trackers. I got these from, oh, I'm gonna butcher her name on the spot, um, Life Lavender UK. And I honestly, I don't know if she sells these in her shop. If she has a shop and she sells these, I'll link it below. Otherwise, I think she just makes them for herself. And she offered to send me some when she saw how much, whoops, buddy, when she saw how much trouble I was having um, finding a good insert to track my son's feedings. Um, which is a video and a periscope all in its own. So just kind of backtrack <laughs> and see see how I marked those. But basically what I use these for is to track when he eats and how much he eats um, because we're having to supplement with formula right now to make sure he's getting enough calories. Um, and by the way, before all of you loving, well-meaning um, 
friends jump on and give me your increasing milk um, suggestions please know that I have tried absolutely everything um, I've tried the pump the power pumping um, in addition to pumping to feeding more often I've put fenugreek and brewer's yeast into my diet I've done flaxseed I've added oats um, and some other things that I can't um, mother's milk tea um, just a bunch of things that that you can try and we're working on it so I just wanted to save you guys a few minutes because I think when I say I have tried it all I have actually tried it all but that's neither here nor there um, so I can track his health things on here and then I have the information I need um, to talk to the pediatrician and to make decisions um, in my sleep deprived state um, and to be able to interpret whether he should be hungry or not and kind of work from there. So that's one great way. And honestly, if you have um, a larger medical need, um, you probably have your own section and you probably are just already using it and figuring it out. And since I don't have a, a large medical need in that way, um, there's a, not a whole lot I might be able to offer. But um, definitely just start plugging away and putting information down and continue to tweak until you feel like you're putting information down in a way that makes sense best to your brain. Okay, after health is house maintenance. Um, this could be a lawnmower, a snowblower, it could be um, you know your dishwasher. And kind of like when I was talking about appliances in an earlier video, let's see, where are my lists? Um, this is the kind of thing where I would have a list like this Probably some cute washi at the top because why not it would be labeled house and it would just have a list of of anything pertinent and I really interpret these very loosely so if you buy a new dishwasher and you want the warranty information or you want to know um, a specific part number if you want to know um, the repair guys number you know those types of pieces of information could be here the only other thing other place I would have something like that would be in my monthly calendars because maybe I would have, you know, um, such and such repair or such and such warranty ends or, you know, something to that effect. And I would have it on my calendar because, on my monthly calendar because it's such a great tool for real future planning in those sense, in that sense. Uh, the next H is um home info and that really relates i think to house um again you may want your home insurance number you may want um the dates um certain things happen like for instance our water heater went here over the weekend over memorial day weekend and we had to get a new water heater so you know house info might be having um that date on there so that way if we ever wanted to sell the house or we ever needed to refer to that information for something then I would have um, the ability to flip back to the date and see it or flip to my section that had that information already written down. So again, very loosely interpretation or very, you're able to loosely interpret those things, I think, and really just plug in um, whatever is kind of probably coming to your brain, even as you're watching this video, to know what would be appropriate for you. Let's see, what is the next H on my list? Oh, holiday list. The last one, um, this I think can refer to a list like this. I'm sure it's hard to really read the details, but this um, came with, oh, I know, the person who gave me the Kate Spade. Um, this I think was an original Kate Spade insert and she didn't need this anymore. And it lists the holidays for 2016 and 2017. It starts um, with New Year's on January 1st and then it lists several countries um, major holidays so like your mother's day your father's day and all of that and this is really handy because one a lot of our favorite inserts are blank and don't contain any of this information which is nice because we're not all in the same countries and we don't all celebrate the same holidays so trying to fit every single one of these on a monthly calendar leaves zero to little room to actually fit in other appointments and things that I need. And having it listed like this allows me to be even pickier. Like for instance, I know it's kind of weird, but we don't really celebrate um, or do anything for Halloween. 
So even though that's a major American holiday and some other countries as well, like I wouldn't really put that on my calendar. And it's nice not to have it on there because I might want to fill something else in in that space. So even of the holidays that apply to like my culture or to where I'm living, they may not, I guess, apply to my family. <laughs> and we may not choose to celebrate it at this time for various, you know, busy reasons or, um, you know, if you're, if you don't have kids, you know, your kids aren't going to celebrate Grandparents Day. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's just, there's different ways to do the different things. And it allows you to pick and choose the ones that you want. Um, so having a holiday like this is really helpful. And I know um, you could make your own simply by Googling um, 2016 holidays. And you could probably be specific like 2016 um, Jewish holidays or 2016 American holidays or whatever you wanted and be able to plug in all of them for you and have this list or you could look that list up and as you're setting up your yearly inserts you could go ahead and plug them into your monthly calendars so thank you guys for bearing with me in this video I know um, having the newborn crying in the background could have been a little distracting but you guys have been very supportive in kind of the family comes first area and supporting me in that and I really like getting videos out for you and sometimes this is the only way I can do it so stick with me I really do appreciate you and your support follow me on Instagram or Periscope or Snapchat or all three I'm a wife and mother on all of those and I will see you guys next week for part six as we continue going through this list of A to Z ideas of things to put in your planner. Happy planning, guys!